When you're deploying your applications to Kubernetes, you might find it quite cumbersome and hard to always redeploy and always create new pods during your development process. So for that, there's a helpful tool available that is called Telepresence that actually makes your local machine somewhat part of the Kubernetes cluster and you can run processes locally and forward them to the cluster so that if you get a request to a particular application, it gets actually forwarded to your local running application that can be debugged and tested and redeployed quickly. So in the past, I recorded a video on how to use WAD, Watch and Deploy, a tool for Java Enterprise, together with Docker containers. And in this video, I also want to connect that to a Kubernetes cluster using Telepresence. So in that case, I have um, two applications running in my Kubernetes cluster. One is called Coffee Shop and the other one is called Barista. And I can access that application to, well, create coffee and order coffees. So what I can do, I can access this using uh, curl, for example, and ask for the coffee um, orders. So there's no particular order in the system right now. Or I can order a new coffee. And then that will be part here. Okay, so now for development purposes, I actually want to swap out the coffee shop application and develop and test that locally. But I want to make that part of the cluster so that the coffee shop application can still talk to the barista backend that is required. And in this case, what I do instead, I start up this telepresence with watch and deploy a process that I will show you in a second. And what that does, it sets up uh, this process and deploys um, a two-way proxy into the Kubernetes cluster that forwards everything I'm doing to a local um, to a local running process. That in my case is a Docker container that runs my application so and my Java enterprise applications here. So what it actually do, what it will do here is it now has a pod that is this telepresence proxy pod. And I have a locally running container on my local machine, a coffee shop container that I just, just started up. And what I can then do is, well, once I access the cluster again, once that is up and running, it will uh, tell me and um, actually deploy my application here. So that is now being deployed. And if I now access that using the default uh, mechanism that runs in, the, in my cloud, then it will end, actually end up at my application that just has been redeployed. Now it's empty. And actually, I can now order some more coffee. And it will use the container that is running locally with actually already a different, slightly different response with my different code that I have here. So let's hack a little bit on that. I have a JAX REST resource that actually implements this orders URL. And what I can do, I can change something here and a response. So I can say, make a JAX REST response here. And um, for example, emit another HTTP header, just for the sake of the example, info foo. So emit that. And then what my watch and deploy process is doing, it is rebuilding and recreating that application uh, quickly. So that will be um, redeployed very quickly if I use a modern application server. And then what I can do, let's ask for the change. Now I have this HTTP header info included as well. And then I can change that again, foo to bar to something else, and then it will rebuild and recreate that quickly. So that is now similar to the last video that I showed you. And once that is being redeployed, it shows the change here. And actually, that is included in my Kubernetes cluster. So again, if I want to create a coffee order, this uses the barista backend in the background that is actually running inside my Kubernetes cluster. So if we have a quick look into the client, what it does, the HTTP client here, it actually connects to the barista service that is just notated um, you specified using the service name here. So that uses the cluster internal DNS resolution provided by Kubernetes to access that application. The same works if I would, for example, connect to my container locally. If I say that is my running container here, and if I docker exec into this one to say, okay, now curl, please give me the barista backend 9080 
and see the health check resource so you can see I can access the barista application from my container that is running locally because it is kind of part of the Kubernetes cluster now. So how do I set up that connection? The telepresence um, tool has a lot of examples um, online and this is the example I'm using that includes this watch and deploy approach here. So what I'm doing in the script while I'm building up my, um, my Docker um, image locally and then what I say is telepresence, please swap the deployment that I have, the coffee shop deployment, and instead do a local um, process, start up a local process that in my case is a Docker run, a Docker container that I want to start with these port and volume specifications. Uh, you might know that from um, if, you, uh, if you watch the other video, start up the coffee shop image and there you go. And this enables the watch and deploy process that then it can swap out the deployment once I rebuild on some file change. So by doing that, I can quickly redeploy if I have some changes and I can redeploy these changes, well, sort of into the Kubernetes cluster, thanks to a process that is running locally and that connects um, to the other services running in Kubernetes. I hope that is helpful. Thanks for watching.